Hey beautiful, welcome to my channel and welcome to the 5 looks 1 palette video with the pretty grunge palette from Huda Beauty. I got to work on this one quickly because I was so excited to create different looks for you so I truly hope that you guys like them. By the end of the video don't forget to tell me from 1 through 5 which look was your favorite and at the end of the video I'll let you know which look was my personal favorite this time around. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know or remind you if you were here in my last video that Refer is having their biggest sale ever right now. They have eyeshadow sets and face brush sets on their website right now for prices that we've never seen before. There is an eye brush set where you get their 10 top selling brushes, their best brushes for $10 each. Or you can also get their 18 brush eyeshadow set which has every single eye brush Refer has for a huge, huge discount. I don't even remember what it is right now. The link is down below in the description box. So definitely check it out and check out the biggest refer brush sale there has ever been, okay? Besides that, you will also find down below the links to the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Palette. If you guys are interested in this one by the end of the video, check out the link down below as well. I love refer brushes. They are handcrafted in Japan and they have the softest bristles. Truly game changers when it comes to blending out eyeshadow. I highly, highly recommend them. So check them out and we do have five Five looks to get into so let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting the first look with the shade Beauty Chaos on a refer number 15 brush and I'm going to back and forth swipe this color on the inner half of the crease of my eye. A little bit more Beauty Chaos here just building it up, blending out that upper edge. I'm grabbing some more of that color and I'm going to start stamping it on the outer third of my eyelid and I'm flicking it upwards towards the end of my eyebrow up here on the crease. I'm blending it in ever so slightly and we point towards the end of the brow. With my refer number 14 max, I want to intensify this a bit. So I grab the color Nirvana and I'm going to start stamping it on the outermost corner of the eyelid area here and back and forth with the tip of this brush and blending it into the previous shade. Still at an angle, of course. And if it looks a little messy right here in the center, it's okay because we're going to put a glitter there. So we're not going to see that later. I just want to make sure it looks blended back here. Same brush and a tiny, teeny bit of Nirvana. This is the Refer 14 Max. And I'm putting Nirvana on the inner part of the inner third of the eyelid here. Once again, blending it into that previous shade. Refer number 15 brush and a little bit of the shade Freedom. Just to have a bit of a matte color all throughout the crease. Freedom is a very, very light pink shade. So it'll just kind of work as a buffer as like a blend out shade for everything else I've applied so far and make it all meet very softly right through the crease. With a refer number two brush and the color Strong AF, I'm going to start right here in the center of the eyelid and I'm going to pat that color all throughout this middle area and bringing it in, just tapping it in place and I'm going to brighten up things more. With the same brush and the color Maverick, which I'm going to tap right through the center of the previous shimmer, right here. Touching up Nirvana on the inner corner with the Refer 14 Max and doing the same thing back here because I still want it to look nice and intense. So take a look, this right here is the top of the first look. The shade Strong AF has a little bit of fallout, so with a makeup wipe I'm just going to clean right under my eyes. And I'm going to sharpen up this back edge. I'm touching up the color corrector I had underneath my eye, which is this one here from Sigma, which color corrects and brightens at the same time. And let's move on to the under eye. I have a bit of the color Nirvana on the tip of my refer number three, and I'm going to just back and forth smudge it underneath my lower lash line around halfway in. I'm not going to go all the way. And I'm just making sure it meets with the top of the eye back here. Back with Beauty Chaos on a refer number 13 mini, I'm going to smoke out Nirvana down here and I'm going to take it all the way to my tear duct area 
I applied a purple eyeliner to my waterline. This one is from Makeup Geek, which is unfortunately discontinued. But if you have any eyeliner with this color right here, that is absolutely going to work. And lastly, back with the shade Maverick on the refer number two, a little bit of inner corner action right here. And so before I put on any mascara or lashes, this right here is the first look of these five looks one palette with the Pretty Grunge palette from Huda Beauty. Absolutely love the way that it came out. It's like an angled halo eye with like silver sparkles in the center. What is not to love, right? I went ahead and added some mascara. So if you wanted to see this look with just mascara on, this right here is what it looks like. The mascara I'm using is the Lash Sculpt Mascara from Anastasia. Finally, back with some lashes on. These are from Ardell. Everything I've been using all throughout the video will be listed and linked down below in the description box. And so this right here is the finished first look with the Pretty Grunge palette from Huda Beauty. I honestly wasn't expecting it to come out as purple as it did, but I'm not upset about it because I do love me a purple smoky eye. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. Starting look number two with the shade Love Anarchy on a refer number one max. And I'm going to just back and forth blend that color all throughout the crease and the outer corner. Just back and forth and swiping on the outer third of my eyelid back here. This is going to be a super soft look at first because I'm going to try and do um, a smoky wing, we'll see. <laughs> so that color is blended. And then I'm going to use the color Stand Up with my finger all throughout the center of the eyelid. This is just like a nice shimmer champagne color. With a rough for number two mini, I'm going to define my eyelid a bit up here with that same shimmer. And by the way, if you were to leave it at this, this is a perfect everyday office appropriate eyeshadow look. Just two shades, an eyelid champagne, a very soft crease, and you're good to go. But of course, I'm going to keep going. So on this refer number three brush right here, I have the color Grunge, which is the cream black. And I just need something with a sharp edge. This is a fragrance sample card thing. And I'm going to put it right here underneath my eye and point it towards the end of my eyebrow. Just kind of secure it in place here and smudge the shade grunge all the way to the center of my eyelid. I don't want to go all the way in because I just don't find eyeliner super flattering on me when I take it all the way in. Okay, so this is what I have. Once I take the cardboard off, we have a sharp bottom edge, which is what we want. And then I'm going to smoke up the top of this wing. I'm grabbing the color Brave on a ref for number three, and I'm just going to run it through the edge of the wing. Just back and forth very lightly, just to diffuse that upper edge ever so slightly. With a makeup wipe and my nail, I'm just making sure I clean this lower edge. Just like this. I think I want to intensify granite a bit on the lower edge, so I'm running it through there once again. Just so that it makes a delicate appearance back. Intensifying it a bit right here. And I think that's it, I think we achieved the smoky liner. <laughs> Once again, with the shade Maverick on a refer number two, just packing the inner corner. This is just the perfect inner corner glittery shimmer shade. Creamy eyeliner for the waterline. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. And with my refer number 13 and a little bit more Love Anarchy, I'm smoking out my lower lash line. And so take a look right here before I put on any mascara or lashes. This is my finished second look. I went for a smoky wing because my friend Marissa asked me to do a smoky wing and so here we are. I hope you guys like it too. Let's put on some mascara. Mascara on, take a look right here at the second look with just mascara. This one is nice and simple and actually not too cool toned of a look. It looks more so on the neutral side. I'm back after applying some lashes and take a look right here at the finished second look with this palette. 
nice and simple yet a little bit glamorous at the same time i really really love the way that this one turned out as well okay so at some point throughout the five looks one palette i figured we gotta put the shade grunge all over the eyelid and do like a black smoky eye of some sort so that is where look number three is going to start and i'm going to use a big brush for the job this is a refer number 36 i grabbed the shade grunge which is a cream black color and i'm just going to stamp it all throughout my eyelid area Ooh, i look like a raccoon <laughs> this looks better once we blend it i promise you that <laughs> With the ref for number 15, nothing added. I just want to use it to blend out what I've deposited all throughout my lid. I'm just doing some back and forth motions to blend out that cream black shade. With whatever was left on the 36 brush, I'm going back through the eyelid to intensify things a bit. And once again, ref for number 15 to blend out any edges. I don't want black right there, so I'm going to wipe it off a little bit with a makeup wipe i just don't want it in my inner corner there we go i was saying that black cream shade blended out even faster and easier than i expected it would it was very easy just to blend out the edge of where i applied it and with a refer 13 max and the color freedom which is i believe the lightest matte on this palette i'm just going to run that matte light pink color through the upper edge just like so with a refer number one i'm going to get renegade which is the powder matte black color and i'm going to intensify the outer third of my eyelid with it and then just blend into the crease shade and look at how intense that black looks i feel like if we were to stamp it all throughout the eyelid we would have a very intense black smoky eye in fact let's just go ahead and go for it as you can see i have no plan <laughs> for this look i'm just going with the flow i figured we can always add a shimmer on top of the black anyways so why not show you the black smoky eye the cream black is a little bit sticky so it's making the powder matte black adhere to it super easily and back with the 13 max, nothing added, I'm just blending out the edges. If you were going for a matte black smoky eye, you can get a very, very intense one with this palette for sure. I'm going to add a bit of shimmer to this eye look. This is the shade Avant Garde and I'm just going to stamp it in the center towards the inner part of the eyelid here. Be careful with the shade Avant Garde if you're applying it with a brush because it gave me a lot of fallout the first time I tried it but it seems to be applying okay with a finger and take a look on top of a black base it just looks like a bronze sparkly shade I actually like it this way more than when I tried it in my review video on the inner corner I'm adding the shade rebel with a mini number two brush and I want to bring it in through the crease ever so slightly let me blend it down here Okay, so this is the top of look number three. I went ahead and refreshed my color corrector underneath the eyes. And I'm going to, of course, apply a black eyeliner to my waterline and smudge it out a little bit. This is the Glossier Eyeliner. The eyeliner is applied. This is a ref for number three with a bit of grunge in it. And I'm going to run it right in between my lower lash line. Make it meet right here at the end. And with a refer number 13 and the shade Freedom, I'm going to smoke that out. I do already have mascara on, so this is what this super dark smoky eye would look like with just mascara. I do recommend doing lashes with a look like this one because it'll complement it since it is so dramatic. Back with the lashes on and take a look right here at this fabulous super dark black smoky eye with a bit of sparkle absolutely love the way it came out it looks nice and dramatic and it was really easy to achieve this level of intensity in this eyeshadow look with the shade grunge as a base i gotta say loved 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 the way this one came out time to move on to look number four and i'm going to start with the shade heroin on a refer number one max 
And I'm going to swipe that color all throughout the crease of my eye, just back and forth up here. Then with the shade Liberty on the same brush, this is the warmest color in this palette. I'm going to build up the crease and the outer corner of my eye a bit. So outer third and blending it into my crease building that up some more so this right here is as warm as this palette is ever going to look because i used the two warm shades in the palette i wanted to experiment with these colors but i'm going to neutralize things with this next color i'm going to use hope on a refer number one to darken up the outer third of my eyelid and hope is a neutral brown shade I'm blending it into my crease colors. So I stamped the color on the outer corner first and then with the tip of the ref for number one, just blended it into the crease. I'm going to grab the shade Rebel and just dab it all throughout the center of my eyelid. This is like a silver shade with multicolor sparkles in it and just I'm tapping it all throughout the lid area. A little bit more hope to blend out the outer edges. And with the Sigma E57, I am bringing it all the way in. Our glitter shade with multicolor sparkles, as you can see, did have a bit of fallout. So I'm going to clean my under eye and I'll be back to finish up this look. I fixed the under eye area and to finish this look, I'm going to grab the shade Hope and back and forth blend it under the eyes. Just back and forth down here, two thirds of the way in or so. And with the refer number 13 in the shade Heroin, we are going to smoke that out. I added a brown eyeliner from Glossier to the waterline, and this right here is the finished fourth look with this palette. I touched up my mascara so you can see what it looks like with just mascara on. I actually really love the way this one came out. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the warm shades for a look, but I'm glad that I did. Lashes are on. Take a look right here at how beautiful and glamorous look number four is. I absolutely love that sparkly shade all throughout the eyelid area. It looks super fabulous. And um, this is proof that you can actually create a neutral to warm <laughs> eyeshadow look with this palette. It's not all fully cool toned. So I hope you guys like this look and let's move on to the last one. Welcome to the fifth and final look and I'm going to start with the shade Freedom on my crease. This is a refer number 15 brush that I'm using to blend Freedom all throughout the crease of my eye. Just back and forth up here. And to intensify things, I'm going to use the shade Brave on a refer number one max, starting on the outer third of my eyelid first and then blending it into my crease color. And I'm blending it around halfway in. A little bit of the color Fearless on the tip of this brush to intensify things further back here. And with that color, we're just intensifying the outer third of the eyelid and the outer third of the crease area. With a refer number two in the color Half Hazard, we are going to cover the center of the eyelid, just tapping Half Hazard in place. And then on the tip of my blending brush, a teeny tiny bit of the shade Nirvana, just to put it on the outermost corner of the eyelid area. So on the inner third of the eyelid, I'm going to grab the shade Rebel. See how I have a chunk of it on this number two mini? So I'm just going to place it on the inner third right here and then blend it in through the crease here. All right, I grabbed another chunk, blended it, and I'm going to extend this a little more right there. Back with half hazard on my refer number two to blend this edge. For the under eye, I blended together Nirvana and Fearless and I'm going to smudge that mixture right underneath my lower lash line. Before I finish, I'm going to apply my color corrector down here and I'm smoking out the lower lash line with the shade Fearless. I put a purple liner in the waterline of the eye and this is the finished fifth look before any mascara or lashes. I'm retouching my Anastasia mascara but keep in mind I've wiped off my makeup three times already so uh, my lashes don't look the best right now i need to properly wash my face they feel super crunchy and they're sticking together mascara on so here is look number five just with mascara Let's put on the lashes the lashes are still drying but take a look right here this is the finished fifth look 
with this palette i have been filming this video for a long time i am so happy i finished <laughs> um i love the way this one came out as well i love the shade rebel on the inner corner slash like through the crease right there i think it looks very pretty and here's what it looks like on both eyes I truly hope you enjoyed this five looks, one palette video. It is time to vote down below right now which look was your favorite. Here they are on the screen. I numbered them for you. I have to say my favorite eye look I created in today's video has to be look number one. You guys know I love me a halo eye. I love me a sparkle in the center of the eye. And I have been really loving the more angled halo eyes that I have been making lately. So I think look number one would be my vote. I also did really love look number three. That black smoky eye was amazing and extremely easy to blend with the grunge cream shade. I do have a complaint about it though because some of these shimmers do have a tiny bit of fallout and that is a cream <laughs> black color. So as you can see, mine is already dirty because the glitter from Rebel um, got on it. So I have to be careful with it and I would really have loved if Huda had put a little clear lid over it or something so that it doesn't get contaminated with the other shadows but besides that i truly enjoyed playing with this palette i cannot wait to see what you guys have to say down in the comment section so let me know your favorite look down below and let me know what you thought of this five looks one palette video if you guys like the video don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye.